video recap of our third lesson in our September 2010 Intermediate Lindy Hop series. Uh, in this class, we worked on uh, five and six of the swing out, as well as uh, musicality. So first, let's talk about the five and six. Uh, so the first two uh, lessons, we talked about uh, the spring on one and two, and three and four. One, spring. two, three, and spring. four. Okay. And in this position now, we can release it in one of two ways. So I can either rock step uh, straight back and then get out of Sarah's way. If I rock step straight back and release immediately, then I'm still going forward. And this will send her out straight. Rock, Five, step, six, seven, step. Eight. The second variation one, two, three, and four is instead of uh, taking my rock step straight back and getting right out of her way, I can rotate my rock step ever so slightly, and this will, will give her a rotation and send her out backwards. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, so this is something leads that you can control, and you should play around with it, but you should make sure that you're very clear which way you're leaving the follow out, whether it's backwards and forwards, and don't be ambiguous whether you're sending it the follow up sideways. And follow is listen carefully for what it is, and if you leave you out forward, eventually you'll get comfortable making up some footwork uh, that you can do forward easier than coming backward. Uh, so we can uh, put some, some additional moves on the, the five and six. For example, we can do an One, inside two, turn. Three and four. So what I'm going to do is by five, I'm going to bring uh, the follow's hand up and um, by her by her head, uh, just like he did on the the inside turn on the the one and two. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. And she just walks through it, unraveling. Um, and yeah, so I think I think that's it. Uh, and then we moved on to to musicality, and so we just wanted to emphasize that that it's not just about the steps, but let the the music guides you as to the, the types of movements uh, that that you make in any given song. So listen listen to the rhythm and also maybe the lyrics of the song or it sounds happy or sad and try to incorporate that into your dance so your dances are unique. Alright. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. See you next time.